my name is Teacher Evelyn and I wanted to make a video for you about all of my favorite props and how I organize them. All right, this of course is my number one favorite prop. This is Dino, earned by the company with Hutong points. I had to sign on online at just the right time. I keep Dino right here on display because he is my special little friend. Okay, let's begin. Over here on my desk, these are, this is what's out of sight. I have this little shelf from Dollar Tree and I have props in these cans. So I'm going to show you some of those props. I'm using a laptop camera so you'll have to bear with me. I use this clapper hand every time they get a star. I use um, this face, I made it from um, Dollar Tree stuff, I have a video about it. Um, it's asking for asking, how are you? Are you fine? Are you happy? I have a question mark. I have this for talking about birthdays or age. I have, um, I bought this foam globe from Dollar Tree and I stuck it on a doily stick. Um, and it works well. I have a picture of my family for talking about family. And I have these different emotion shaped squares. <laughs> um, so that's fun. I have a flower for talking about smells or flowers. All of, all of the props I'm showing you are props that I use regularly because um, if a prop doesn't fit the curriculum, I don't even keep it in my office. So yes, this is a long list of things, but I'm showing you an idea of how to organize. Um, I have pictures about saying, this is my cat. Um, that's about going to the park or picnic. This is, these are my children. I don't use that very often. If we're talking about boating or, or canoeing, I can show a picture of me in a canoe. If we talk about table tennis or ping pong, I've got that picture. If we're talking about riding bikes, I've got a picture of my girls on their bikes. If we're talking about going to the park, I've got that. So I printed these out on cardstock, and um, my mom, she passed away, but she played violin at my wedding, and so I have that picture um, that's very special to me in case we're talking about playing violin. And uh, some pictures of my kids playing bubbles if we're talking about what we like to do for fun. I have this picture that says happy birthday. A couple things for emotions. Um, this is for talking about dumplings, eating, eating dumplings, which is something they eat in China a lot. So I have um, Mike and Meg. I crocheted these when I first started the job because I didn't have a printer. I didn't have, you know, extra money to spend because I hadn't had my first paycheck yet. So I made some of my props by hand. And those are some of my favorite props is the things I've made by hand. Um, I use this pointer finger a lot of times when students are reading and I'll use the ear and I'll say, can you read for me? Okay. Especially with upper levels. That's just a fun thing to do. Um, so let me share with you. Okay, so just out of view of the students is these pockets. This is a um, shoe pocket organizer. It's a smaller sized one. Uh, it works well for me and I'll show you some of the props that I have. This is for asking the students to circle. This is for talking about this is a classroom. This is a school. This is a classroom. This is a house. This is for talking about amusement park, a theme park. I printed all of these on cardstock and on the back I either taped or glued them. This is about talking about neighborhoods, talking about apartments. Um, I have this picture for a window. I have a few others for coat, backpack, hat, computer, pen. I hardly use those. I mostly only use window. Um, I made a video about how I made my, my little color book that I use for extending. I have, I use this for talking about cube or blocks. 
I use this as a spinning top. I'll spin it in class when talking about spinning. When talking about sports, I have all the different sports balls. I have an apple. I ha these are used for rewards. This is my makeup I use before class every day. This is my stars that are magnetic that I put up here. Um, these are a reward. It's ice cream. This is another reward I use. That's dino dollars. Um, I use these all the times for saying he, she, they, grandma, grandpa. What these are, are these are finger puppets bought on Amazon. I use hot glue and put them on sticks because it's much faster than sticking them on your finger during class and I chose to glue on googly eyes to make them a little bit more fun. These are dollhouse dolls from thrift stores. I use them for talking about mom, dad, teacher, everything. Um, these are the different monsters that are from the curriculum and it has their name. If I want to have a monster talk, I lift it up. I don't use those very often. I don't really like the monsters, but I like Dino. I made Dino back before I had a printer. I like him a lot. I made this nose <laughs> for talking about, ooh, it smells, you know. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. This nose is from just like a party favor glasses and I just hot glue gunned it onto a stick. So that's a lot of fun. Um, I have a few of the select characters that are used in the curriculum on sticks here. Okay, moving on. Let me put some of these back. There we go. All right. I also, sitting on my desk, I have a mouse pad. And this is a broken mouse, but it doesn't matter because I use it for showing draw a circle. Um, I use this for look, magnifying glass. Um, I use this guitar for as a prop and also Dino oftentimes plays it when we're singing songs with pre-VIP kid. Um, this is a mirror I use for makeup, but I also use it as a prop. This is a microphone that I crocheted before I had money to spend and I love it and I use it. It also doubles at my, as my whiteboard eraser because currently my whiteboard eraser has fallen down or is missing in action and I just erase with this and it's no big deal. I don't have to go search for the eraser. Um, I have a video about these when teaching days of the week and months of the year. I saw in a workshop that it was suggested to use this to show continuity. Um, I use these for talking about big and small letters. Um, this is my lion puppet. This is my teacher Sarah puppet. Um, I made this using a pizza circle and white paper and I used um, pipe cleaner and straws and tape and marker and I made my own clock as a prop for teaching about time. Um, I bought this at Dollar Tree. It's just a puzzle, but I use it for numbers, both for counting and for talking about age. This is from Dollar Tree. I use it every time we sing the alphabet. I have it glued together a little bit. Um, when talking about the farm, this is the prop that I use for the word farm, and sometimes we talk about the animals that are on the farm. If I have extra time and I want my students to read a book, I have a couple of simple books for them to read that are fun. Let me put some of these back as we continue. Um, in my classroom, everything has its place so that I don't have to spend hours prepping before class. I just sign in, grab and go as I teach. Um, I saw this online. I made this for talking about seasons. Um, oops. These are my puppets. I've got Meg and Mike. I've got a video about how I made them, how I bought and altered them to look like the characters. I have a puppet that says, thank you, firemen, that I hold up. I got this at a thrift store and I made the little sign. Thank you, firemen. So that's just for, firemen is the name of our IT guys. So just as an inside joke, I've got a fire truck here and a fireman's hat here. It's just a fun thing. I've got my uh, mug 
that I received at a conference with VIP Kid. Um, and here in these boxes are some of my uh, rewards. Um, I'll show you real quick. I have this shelf. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the individual things. Okay. So if we're talking about farm animals, I have, you know, cow, I've got pig, I've got all the different farm animals. I've got some finger puppets that I stuck on sticks, you know, the works, all the farm animals. Um, for pets, I've got, I just got this cat, pretty excited about it. Um, I've got three different dogs, a rabbit, another cat. Um, here are some of my dogs. So those um, get used often. And yes, sometimes I need more than one dog or more than one cat. Okay, for zoo animals, I use this often when talking about zoo animals. And we'll talk, if, if I want to extend extra, we'll talk about vocabulary of different animals. Um, I'll pull these out. So I've got a bunch of different zoo animals that are just a lot of fun. And the kids just get thrilled. Love it. Um, for talking about aquatic and semi-aquatic animals, I've got a collection of fish and whales. I bought these secondhand. There's a whole unit on birds, and I'm quite excited that I've finally built up my, my bird collection I'm using mostly thrift store birds. Um, I've got an ostrich. Some of the upper levels talk about some pretty unique animals, and so I have some of those, which is pretty cool. Um, moving on, here's some of my other stuffed animals that I have. I recently got a bear, I have a penguin, I have a turtle, and this camel gets used a lot when talking about the desert, um, and Egypt. I have down here my creepy crawlies. I've got, um, some lizards, frogs, and snakes. Honestly, more than anything, it's just this one toad and this snake ah, that gets used the most. And I say, ah, a snake, a snake, a snake slithers, snake. So the kids, boys and girls, get a kick out of me wearing a snake and getting scared of it. These rarely, if ever, get used, but they're just my randomly almost never used um you know I've got a few deers and moose and buffalo but hey it could come up in a lesson so I've got it there for when I need it and I've got bugs I heard there's a bug unit I haven't taught it yet but just a couple times I've had to use a couple of those I have down here my Elsa reward. I used that this morning. I made this ping pong thing and never use it. <laughs> and moving on over to this side of the room. Um, these top two shelves, that's for Gabriel, my baby that died. That's for some random stuff that is from my wedding and stuff. Over here, this is my box with, um, I use this basketball when talking about spinning, when talking about bouncing, and <laughs> movement, which is in some of the stuff. Um, this is a prop for hat or cap. Um, I have one of these. I haven't used it yet. I have some scarves in here and gloves for talking about clothing. I have, these are, this is the prop I use for when I talk about glasses. Put the glasses away is a phrase we teach. Gonna put this away. Um, you may have seen in another video that I have this. I set it right here where I can easily grab it. I keep it in alphabetical order so I can easily use my magnetic things and make CBC words. Consonant, vowel, consonant. And over here. I really wanted an abacus and I really hardly ever use it, but I got it for a couple bucks, so it wasn't bad. I got this at Dollar Tree for talking about recycling. I have yet to use it because I taught the recycling unit 
before I had it, but this is a fun prop for talking about recycling or trash. Dollar Tree, so it was a dollar. I have my daughter's teapot in here for talking about I'm a little teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stuff. I have some flowers that almost never get used, but it's a pretty prop. I think I have a video, yeah, where I made this. Um, this is a, for talking about the VIP kid classroom, for talking about desk, screen, you know, headphones, camera, chair, teacher. So, and uh, the firemen seem to like it because they click on my class to look at what I'm doing when I have that. There's a whole unit about movement, about um, Ferris wheels and, and roller coasters. So I got this for a few bucks at a church garage sale and it's just fun to have a handheld prop not just my one little printed out stick we play red light green light I made this out of a um, mustard container Barbie on her bicycle to talk about riding a bike this is a small fan that I use for f fan for our birthday unit, I use this birthday cake a lot. And I just got this at a thrift store, haven't used it yet. But it's fun because it's a cupcake little girl for her birthday. And I use this for both cab and taxi. Okay. I also have a soccer ball here for talking about soccer. Um, even though I have small props for, for sports, sometimes the bigger props can be more attention grabbing for students who, um, are older boys that are really into sports that might grab their attention and make them rebook me. So, hey, if it'll do it for them, I will do that. Okay, moving over here. You'll see I have this, this thing right here. I'm going to show you what I've got in these drawers, Okay. We are on the go. I'm sorry for the camera movement. So I made this for a bat. Um, I've got in this drawer, I've got a bunch of farm animals. This guy is Old McDonald to me because I use him for the Old McDonald song. I made this prop for talking about hatching. All right, so pretty cool. Um, here's some more. These rarely get used because I have, you know, other versions of them that are bigger. This tiger I got at a, out of a McDonald's Happy Meal. This almost never gets used. This doesn't really get used now that I have a bigger giraffe. I used to use it, but I have Olaf for talking about snow. So, yeah, I already showed you that. Um, moving on. Um, I've got different transportation vehicles for talking about transportation. Um, the motorcycle and the helicopter I haven't used, but having like trains and airplanes and cars and boats are all very useful. Um, the train. So I've got a drawer of transportation vehicles. Um, I've got, for talking about furniture in the house, I've got a, a table and a sofa. And this is, can be used for a lamp. Um, I made a video about how I made this wardrobe. I might make a 3D version eventually. We've got a little bed. These are, um, you know, get them out of thrift store. Get some dollhouse furniture for talking about furniture. A little mirror, you know. Um, so, good times. I also use this prop for talking about birthday parties because I can surprise my students that this thing is pretty cool little. It's from Adora the Explorer um, dollhouse. So I bought the dollhouse secondhand for my kids so that I could have the props for my classroom. <laughs> hey, they got something, I got something. Over here down below, I have props for food. I needed, okay, bread and rice. I got this on Amazon because, you know, we talk about bread and rice all the time, some of the food units. So I've got 
you know, some of these things are from Dollar Tree. Some of them are from thrift stores. Some of them are, you know, this is from Dollar Tree. So just got different things. There's a hot dog, as mentioned, and a song and VIP kid. Um, and down here I've got a car that I use a lot. <laughs> I've got a horse that I use. And I've got a monkey that I use. So I'm pretty sure that I've showed you all of my props. So those props I use for all levels. As you've seen in some of my other videos, I am certified for all levels. And these are all props that I use all the time. So I know where everything is. So I can grab and go as I teach. I don't have to um, have props sitting out ahead of time. I know where things are. I get them as I teach. I grab my lion puppet. I grab my ABC things. And um, the things I use the most are the closest to me and the things I don't use as much are further away. So if I see a, that a unit is going to mention Ferris wheel, I go ahead and grab the Ferris wheel before class. Um, but mostly all the things are within reach for me to stay on the camera. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. It was a lot of fun for me to share with you my props and my classroom organization. Uh, I hope you have an excellent day. Happy teaching.